Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today we are doing a top 10 Real Techniques video. I love Real Techniques. Um, I have tried a ton of their brushes over the years. They have things that are affordable. They have things that are a little bit more expensive. They just have a really good range of products. And so I wanted to sit down and just share my top 10 products from them with you guys. So if you wanna see what they are, then just keep watching. Okay, let's talk about the hair really quick. I did cut my hair off. Again, um, I did this a couple years ago. I think I did it even last year. Not this short, but I did cut it. Um, this is it straight. I like it. I think it's fun. It's something different. So yeah, that's what we're working with today is this short hair. I'm, I'm into it though. Okay, but let's go ahead and start off. So let's do face brushes first. I have a couple things to share. So the first thing I want to talk about is a set, and this is the Expert Face Set. So it does come with four brushes. I've only kept three because these three were my favorite. It also comes with a flat foundation brush that you can kind of like use to paint on your foundation if that's something that you're into. I'm not really into that, so I have decluttered that brush. But I love the little mini concealer brush in the set because you can get such targeted application with this. If you have a blemish, you can just take a little bit of concealer on the back of your hand, or if you use a pot concealer, you know, just dip it right in, and then you can just dab, 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 and it gets it so targeted to where you don't have a ton of concealer that you don't need it, and it doesn't look super cakey, but the blemish that you want to cover is covered. So I love this concealer brush for blemishes. And then this brush is the like contour brush, I think is what they call it, um, in that set. <clears throat> and this is wonderful to contour. It just fits right there so, so nicely. And it's a nice shape because it's like a, just like a little dome. It's like a little egg. And so it doesn't give you like just a line, you know, you don't have like a stripe of contour. It really blends it out so it looks so natural, um, but you still get that nice definition because it is a smaller brush. So I love that one. And then this is the other brush that's in the set. So it's like a little kind of smaller not necessarily powder brush, but not necessarily foundation brush either. It's a nice kind of hybrid of the two. And so I love this for like powder foundation because you can really buff in the product. Um, I even like this for blush sometimes, for bronzer. It's a really good kind of just multitasking brush. I have even used this for liquid foundation and it works just fine. It's not my favorite for that just because it's not, I usually like a more like densely packed brush. Um, but this one, it, it can work but I do really like to use it for like setting my face with powder or things like that just because you can really kind of get a nice um, application because you get the product on and you can really kind of build it up but it also um, doesn't look super cakey with this because it does blend out so I love that little set this next brush was actually sent to me through Octoly and Real Techniques, um, and this is the sculpting brush. So it is kind of pinched in right here at the ferrule, and then you do have a nice angle, and it's really densely packed. So I know some people like to use this for contouring, um, like cream contouring, powder contour. I actually love this for foundation um, or like CC creams because it's so densely packed that that's the kind of brush I usually like when I apply a foundation. But I love the angle because you can get in all the little crevices. You can get right around your nose. You can get right on your hairline so nicely. Um, under the eyes is even really nice. Like you could use this for concealer. I just, I love this brush because of how packed it is, but the angle really just makes it easy to kind of swipe on product. And it just blends everything out really nicely with still kind of giving you that nice targeted application. So love that. Now this next brush I am talking about is more expensive and you can only find this on the Real Techniques website. This is the B03. They sent this to me a long time ago, um, like probably a year ago. And it's like probably, I think it's like $20. I will link everything down below for you guys. But this brush is so good. I love this for foundation. Um, again, it's densely packed, but it's just round. There's not like anything really about it. It's just a round foundation brush, but it just busts product in so fast, 
so seamlessly, so effortlessly, and it has washed so well. All of these brushes have just washed so well and held up for so long. Um, but for having that much like cream product in it, it really does get clean pretty easily. And you can just buff this in, and it's so fast, but it spreads product out so nicely. So I really love this brush. Out of these two, which one do I like more for foundation? I would say they're tied. So I would probably pick this one up just because it is less expensive. But I don't know. They're both just so, so good that I had to mention them. Okay, this next brush is an interesting one. This is the Instapop Face Brush. So as you guys can see, there's an angle to this brush. It's like cut in half, basically, is what it looks like. I am obsessed with this for powder. I tried it for creams when I first got it, and I was like, yeah, it's good. But then I heard, I think it was Kelly Gooch, talk about how she loves this for powder. So that's how I tried it. And let me just show you guys really quick, because I kind of need to touch up the chin a little anyway. I just take this right in my powder, and then you can just, like, press it in. And it's so easy. This brush, like the angle, makes it so easy to press in powder and get in all the little crevices around the nose and everything. And it just looks so good. So I love this brush. It just makes powder application so easy and targeted. Um, it's wonderful. I love this. I mean, you could use it for blush and things like that, but I mean, it might be kind of hard to use it for bronzer or highlight because it's just a little large. But, and it worked okay for cream, but for powder, I just love this brush. It's so, so easy. So definitely recommend that one. Okay, this next brush is another one of the blue kind of expensive brushes. And this is the B02. Again, sent this to me a long, long time ago. But this brush is the perfect blush brush. It is the perfect size. It's so nice and tapered. And you can just get such a nice targeted application, but it looks so natural because you can really blend it out with this too. So what I usually do is I take my blush and I just kind of hit it on the side here and then I will like kind of apply it and then I'll just start buffing. And it just makes your blush go on so nicely. It's so incredibly soft and I just, I love this brush. I, this is just, oh gosh, out of the two blue ones, I don't know. I would say probably go for the BO2 first just because, I mean, I love both of them, but this is just the most unique to me, and it's just so nice, and it blends everything out so well, so love this. All right, the last face brush that I want to talk about is just the standard blush brush. I actually don't love this for blush because it is a little large. Um, it's just a nice kind of duo fiber dome, like egg-shaped brush. I would say this is the mom to this brush, the contour brush I was talking about. It's like, this is the mom, this is the baby. Um... And so what I love this for is bronzer because you do kind of get a nice surface area to work with and really blend product out, but it's not too large to where bronzer gets everywhere and it gets in places that you don't want it to be. So you can really just kind of like blend this out really nicely. You can get right around here so nicely. Um, so I just, I love this brush for bronzer, even though it's marketed as a blush brush. There are no rules in makeup and you can use brushes for different things, surprisingly enough. Okay, I have two different eye sets to talk about. So this is the Expert Eye Set. And they also sent this to me through Octoly. And you get four brushes in here. Well, you get this, which is like a lash kind of comb or an eyebrow comb. I love to use this when I like um, pluck my brows because it is such a fine little metal comb that you can really brush through every little hair. And then it makes it really easy to kind of see which ones you need to pluck. So that's what I love to use that for. This brush I love. It's like a fluffy kind of flat, large shader brush, but I love this for the crease, surprisingly enough. I use this today. What I will do is I'll kind of take like a mid-tone shade or like a, my skin tone color, and I will just set the crease with this. Um, I don't like to set my entire eyelid like after I use my eye primer because I want the shimmers to really stand out on my lid, and I feel like the eye primers help that. But I do like to set the crease so everything blends so nicely. And this brush, for some reason, with my eye shape, just works out really well. It also is really nice for just, like, if you're doing an all-matte look, taking, like, a matte shade and just kind of fluffing it everywhere and then going in with a crease color and you're good to go.
Um, I don't really love this for shimmers just because I usually like to use my fingers for shimmers, to be honest. But this one for mattes is so beautiful. And then I love the little crease brush you get in here. So this is a really small crease brush. So if you're someone who you don't have a lot of lid space to work with um, or you don't really know how to blend very well, this is going to be really great for you because you can just kind of get the product right where you need it but it's still fluffy enough that you can really blend it out and it looks beautiful. So I love this little brush and I think sometimes we can get carried away with the crease brush size. Sometimes we think, oh, I need a big crease brush. Not necessarily. You can still get a nice blended look with a smaller brush like this. Okay, the next brush in the set is this little guy. So this is kind of like a fluffy little, it's like not even like a flat shader brush. It's just like a fluffy, little like just shadow brush I guess is what it's meant to use like but I don't it's not really good okay let me regroup let me regroup <laughs> this is what I'm trying to say it's not really good for packing shadow on because it is a more um, fluffy type of brush so it doesn't really hold on to product really well but what I use this for today and how I really like to use it is I will take a shade and I will blend out the um, like shimmer on my lid and then my transition shade so this can really just kind of get a nice targeted application this is really great for dark shades like on the outer corner and you could really just sort of set the product down but it's fluffy enough that I can kind of blend it out a little bit and it looks really nice so I love this little brush because you kind of look at it and you're like what would I use that for but it really does serve a nice purpose for the outer corner and then last but not least, in this set, you do get a liner brush. To be honest, this brush, I could kind of take or leave. I don't love it because um, I don't really use cream liner. But if you are using a shadow as an eyeliner, this would be really nice like to have. Or honestly, even as like a lip brush, that would be a nice thing to use it for. Um, it did just come in the set. But the three favorites in the set are definitely these three brushes. These are just two kind of nice added bonuses, if you will. Okay, the last brush set I want to talk about is the Insta Eye Pop brushes. So these are the same cut as the big old mama face brush over here. So they are on a nice angle. I've talked about these before, I think. I love these. Again, you look at them and you're like, how am I going to use those on my eyes? You can. So this one right here, the bigger one, is so nice for packing a shadow on the lid. Um, I, I like just is sweeping a mat across the lid. I kind of use it similar to how I use this one that came in the other set. Um, or like for a highlight, a brow bone highlight. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful for that. Um, and then the smaller one, I actually like to use in a ton of different ways. So this one works really nicely on the outer corner. You can take the flat side and just sort of pack shadow on, or you can turn it and then you can use this top part right here to smudge out the lower lash line, which I really like. Um, you can kind of turn the brush this way again and sort of get a more targeted crease if that's the kind of thing you're going for. If you want more color up in the crease and not down on the lid, just turn the brush. So these are actually really versatile brushes and when I first looked at them, I kind of didn't know how to use them because they were different you know they're I don't see brushes like this from any other brand and so I was like I don't know how I'm going to use these these are kind of intimidating but they actually work out really really well and you can really especially this little one you can use this in so many different ways the last thing I want to talk about from real techniques is not a brush but it is the expert face sponge I bought so many of these over the years, you guys, I can't even tell you. This one is really dirty, so I apologize. But it's a like little egg-shaped brush with a nice cut. This was kind of like the first beauty blender dupe that was out on the market. I've never owned a beauty blender, so I don't really know how it compares, but I just know that I love this sponge. It's soft, it's bouncy, it doesn't like hurt my face. You know how some sponges are so hard, they like hurt when you put them on, like when you use them? I don't like that. This one is so soft. It cleans so well. You can get it for like five bucks or a two pack for $10. And what's nice about Real Techniques is that they're often on sale at Ulta and you can use all of your Ulta coupons on them because they are a drugstore brand. So don't ever buy Real Techniques full price because you can always find it on sale or with a coupon.
Anywho, um, but like I said, this cleans so well. What I do is I just have a bar of soap sitting next to my sink, and every morning before I use this, I just sort of run it over this like bar of soap, and then I really kind of wash it out, because you have to wet the sponge anyway to use it, um, because that's just how the sponges work. So it's really just kind of nice just to run it over some soap and make sure it's cleaned out every single morning. And I've never had any issues cleaning my sponge like that, and I probably replace this every four months I would say um, just when it really starts to kind of break down but I also use mine every single day for the most part there's maybe a few times a week that I don't um, and I kind of just go through phases like if I'm into brushes or if I'm into foundations or if I'm into sponges I'm sorry um, but if I use this consistently I would say I probably replace it every four months which is actually really good like I don't think that's a big deal. Um, I love the flat side because you can get right up in here, right under the eye to really blend out that concealer. Or you can really just cover a lot of surface area with your face and then flip it over, use the pointed side to get under the eyes. So I just like this. I think it's really versatile um, and I think that you just don't really need to spend money on a high-end sponge when this one is just so, so good in my opinion. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.